In 2019, Vietnam is facing an alarming situation about the environment in the region as well as in the world. The government and scientists are constantly trying to find and implement appropriate measures to protect the environment, minimize the negative impacts of environmental pollution on people's life. With relentless efforts, the leading space research agencies in Vietnam have continued to coordinate with the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, to promote cooperation and monitor environmental fluctuations, that's improving ecosystem through Earth observation. Welcome to Shiny Vietnam of VTC10 NetVet channel. Today we have a talk with Dr. Sung Yim, senior research scientist to know more about the environmental issues as well as the collaboration between NASA and Vietnam in the application of satellites. Thank you for coming to our show, Doctor. Hello to the audience of the channel. My name is Sun Nghiem. I'm a senior research scientist of the NASA Chapel Pension Laboratory, and uh, I'm the principal investigator of NASA research related to land cover land use change, status, and impact in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. How do you assess the changing of the environment around the world as well as in Vietnam? One of the largest issues now today is the global urbanization. The urbanization has occurred with a rapid rate in many locations, especially in Vietnam. You look at Hanoi, you look at Ho Chi Minh City, the uh, urban area not only expanded, but the vertical buildup is also tremendous. So from NASA satellite, we can observe these change and the rate of change. So when you can determine the rate of change, then you can compare that with the rate of water and air pollution, right? Then from there, you can estimate a es uh, projection into the future. In the natural environment, uh, you can see whether the forest is still maintained or the forest was cut down too much, like a deforestation, and when that happened, how big it is, where it occurred, the satellite can give you those observations. And based on those ob observations, you need to develop uh, a method to account for that. In your opinion, what practical measures should Vietnam take to deal with this environmental problem right now and also to improve its ecosystem? There are positive as well as a negative uh, impact. Uh, in the, on the positive side, from NASA observation, we can see whether a certain policy that uh, implemented by the Vietnamese government, for example, the restoration of the wetland, the mangrove forest in Kanda, whether it worked or not, and how well it worked. So from the satellite data, after uh, a uh, decades of restoration, we do see the tremendous uh, recover of the wetland in Kanjur. On the other side, there are impacts that can uh, cause air pollution, water pollution. Uh, for example, from the satellite, we can observe and s map out where the stream farm is. And for the stream farm, one of the issue is that they have to disinfect the water by putting chlorine in there. Then through the photochemical reaction, it would interact with the salt in the salty water because stream live in salty water. It creates a chemical called, called promate, uh, which is uh, a conocetion, a cancer causing uh, agent. So the question is how do we reduce that? So scientific research need to carry out to see what is the most effective way to disinfect the water so that you can produce more stream, but at the same time nim minimize uh, the uh, carcinogen uh, effect of these chemical reaction. So how do you assess the collaboration between Vietnam and NASA this time? This research, which is supported by the NASA Headquarter Program on Land Cover and Land Use Changes, uh, we would carry out the observations of the Earth environment, uh, how it changed and how it would uh, impact uh, the uh, living condition. Uh, so as the NASA is a space uh, agency, our capability is to 
uh, make observation from the vantage point of the satellite. We have a fleet of satellites to look at various environment uh, to see how the trial would occur, where the flooding would occur, and how much water running in a river, uh, where the Wi-Fi may happen. Uh, so these are the uh, topics of uh, primary interest uh, not only in Vietnam but also in U.S. because we do have U uh, disaster in U.S. Uh, so th this uh, research uh, would establish the close collaboration and I would stress on the word concrete collaboration uh, between uh, NASA, between uh, VNSC and uh, Vietnam National University uh, to carry out this research most effectively. This is a seminar held at the U.S. Consulate in Ho Chi Minh City between representatives of NASA, the Center for Space Technology Application, VNSC, the Ho Chi Minh City Space Technology Application Center and international team to strengthen cooperation in the application of city lines to monitor environmental changes, promoting ecosystem benefits through Earth observation, as well as future agreements between NASA and Vietnam. Thứ nhất là tôi đánh giá cao cái hợp tác giữa Việt Nam với NASA à, vì chúng ta khi Thủ tướng Chính phủ đã ký cái quyết định số 149 à, mùng 1 tháng 2 năm 2019 thì trong đấy cũng đã có nêu cao nhiệm vụ. Hai cái nhiệm vụ mà tôi nghĩ là rất quan trọng. Một là đẩy mạnh xã hội hóa các cái hoạt động ở Viện Thám. Hai là uh, tăng cường cái ứng dụng công nghệ biển thám trong phục vụ phát triển kinh tế quốc phòng, an ninh xã hội và một cái nữa cũng rất quan trọng nữa là đẩy mạnh phát triển hợp tác quốc tế trong lĩnh vực này để nhằm cung cấp đầy đủ dữ liệu phục vụ các cái mục tiêu mà tôi nói trên. Cho nên là tôi nghĩ là tôi đánh giá cao cái cái hoạt động mà hợp tác giữa Việt Nam với NASA. At the seminar Scientists gave many ideas for the application of remote sensing activities to support ecosystem-related issues through satellite images to see the changes of the environment, observation on the impacts of changing rural environment to large urban areas. On that basis, they put forth measures to increase and reduce activities to respond to climate and environmental changes. The seminar also highlighted specific scientific studies that can apply to achieve short-term and long-term goals. I think currently, especially through this project, there is um, a lot of collaboration to be had between Vietnam and the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, specifically through uh, Dr. Son Nim. He's an incredible connector, someone who has a lot of connections um, and uh, a lot of interest in collaborating. So I think relationship is strong and um, I'm excited to be a part of it. Space technology will help Vietnam exchange collected data with other countries and have an overall picture of the global environment. In addition, joining the network of low partners in 113 countries since 2016, Young Vietnamese people and scientists will have many opportunities to connect with international scientists and communities to raise awareness of the environment and gain further understanding of the global culture and community. What measures should Vietnam take to improve its environment at this point? There are uh, various methods uh, to do that there are uh, the, the environment could be impacted in terms of pollution in the air the pollution in the water right so let me go to the stream farm example if you disinfect the water in an inefficient way right then it not only uh, not improving the situation it even create more of the toxic chemical in that the question is, do you have to do it? Is there a better method to do that? And make no mistake, when you want to improve the environment, there are costs associated with that. But it doesn't mean that uh, it's not good. 
there are costs, but actually it can be good because if you can produce the kind of stream that achieve the high quality by reducing the uh, chemical toxin in the water, you can produce high quality uh, shrimp and you can sell it with a better price. In terms of air pollution, there can be several methods also. We need to see where the air pollutant come from. Uh, would it come from the motorcycle, a car, or uh, like a coal fire uh, power plant? There are, again, methods that uh, can be used to reduce the air pollutant, but again, there are associated costs. But it depends on how you develop the method of that. There are costs, but there can be benefit to counter that cost. So that is a win-win situation. How will NASA and Vietnam collaborate in the upcoming time? Between NASA and uh, 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 VNSC, uh, we currently already have uh, a joint collaboration in the current research. In the future, we will strengthen that research by a concrete result by the exchange of the uh, research uh, and also um, visiting scientists, uh, etc. In, in terms of the higher level, um, in the future, NASA will launch a satellite mission. Uh, Vietnam will launch satellite mission. For example, the Lotus Sat, which is a synthetic aperture radar, which have a very high resolution and has the capability to see through the cloud cover and even at night time. Uh, NASA has the NISA uh, uh, kind of satellite. So the strength of the collaboration, and this is how uh, the synergy can be developed uh, between uh, NASA and Vietnam. So the key is to develop the collaboration where everybody work together synergistically, then with that you can maximize the investment in these satellites. Make no mistake, these satellites are very expensive, right? And then you need to maximize the investment of that. So if you only look at your own country and don't give the data to any other country, then the other country do the same thing. Within your satellite, you can see only uh, so often but if you have a collaboration with other uh, international space agency, including NASA, then chances are we can observe Vietnam uh, much more in the large area and more often, and vice versa for all countries. That would be a synergistic collaboration. What do you expect from the collaboration between NASA and Vietnam? I will expect two results. Uh, we have this meeting here today in Ho Chi Minh City. One of the comments that I have is that we don't want to say that we have a nice day in Ho Chi Minh City and that's it. We want to develop a tangible collaboration. What would be the next plan? And from that next plan, what research result would come out of that? Can we detect flood better? Can we forecast the uh, 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 trout better? Can we uh, improve the environmental uh, environment better? How do we see the urban are changing? Uh, so th these have to be scientific understanding as an outcome. Uh, the development of the uh, application methodology and out of that, what do we learn from that? Everybody can make a mistake. Everybody can make a right decision. So we learn from each other, from the right decision as well as the mistake. We do make mistake and we do make right decision in the US and vice versa in Vietnam. So with this exchange, we would um, maximize the, not only the result, but the result that we can achieve with the most uh, efficient way given the limited resources and schedule that we have. Thank you for all of your sharings, Doctor. We hope that the collaboration will be even more successful in the future, and we hope that NASA will support Vietnam in improving the ecosystem and the environment. All right, I hope that I share some uh, uh, point in this uh, discussion with you. So with that, I would say bye to your audience.